Okay. Um, before I announce the next speaker, I do want to say that uh, when we break for we're going to have a group photo of faculty, everybody in the program. So uh, next up, we have uh, Wukyang Zhu uh, talking about uh, CC ND2 overexpression enhances regenerative potency of human iPSC-derived cardiomyocytes, a model to study remuscularization uh, of injured ventricles. So um, Wuk is our own UAB, so take it away, Wuk. Thank you, Joe, for introduction, and uh, thanks for the CVB committee to um, allow me to share the, provide the opportunity so that I can uh, share the data here. And um, I think uh, uh, Dr. Jay Zhang already uh, uh, briefly introduced uh, the, uh, some of the results. And uh, in my presentation, I wanted to share with you how we reach the story and uh, um, how do we use the uh, big graphs. Uh, so we all know that uh, uh, many of the uh, clinical and the preclinical studies indicated that the cell-based therapies are promising for repairing the injured myocardium. And uh, despite of this, some of the uh, critical uh, issues um, still remains, such as the uh, low engraftment rate. And that's um, one of the uh, questions we wanted to address in this uh, presentation. So, um, So our goal um, um, is to uh, develop a therapeutic uh, uh, strategy so that you can eventually help us to replace the uh, transmural scar. This is a problem that has not been addressed yet. And uh, the hypothesis for the study is uh, to induce the uh, proliferation of transplanted cells so that a, uh, the um, number of the, no number of the surviving cells can eventually uh, uh, repopulate the uh, injured heart. And uh, uh, the strategy we used is to um, overexpression the uh, cyclin D2. Uh, this is a gene uh, that, uh, a well known gene that drives cell cycle uh, uh, progression. Overexpression of this gene has been uh, demonstrated to um, drive cell cycle in the adult uh, cardiomyocytes in the transgenic mice. Uh, so uh, this is how we, uh, uh, the experiment design so how we, uh, we generated the an antiviral and uh, uh, we uh, hooked up this antiviral construct with the RFMHC human cyclin D2 um, um, uh, uh, genes so that uh, this uh, human cyclin D2 gene expression is exclusively uh, theoretically should be only expressed in the myocytes but not as IPS or other subtypes. And we did differentiation and then we characterized the uh, myocytes derived from the uh, IPS cells uh, here we, you see that uh, this is the uh, um, uh, RNA and also the protein analysis demonstrated that we get uh, clones that the high expression of the cyclin D2 gene. Uh, histology showing that this our expression of this gene is uh, mainly localized in the uh, nuclei. So next uh, we checked the cell cycle activity. See if this uh, our expression of this gene can actually drive the cell cycle. Uh, I, we have used, uh, utilized a battery of the um, uh, cell cycle markers. Here I wanted to show you that uh, two of the proliferation markers, one is the phosphorylhistone H3 and the other one is the aurora B kinase. You can see that uh, our expression of the cyclin D2 gene drives the cell cycle uh, compared to the um, uh, iPS cells derived uh, from the, uh, without the our expression of the gene, we call, the, we call this the uh, wild type cells. And uh, uh, next we check if we uh, uh, deliver the cells into the injured uh, heart, uh, uh, what they behave, uh, do they behave differently um, uh, compared to the white type cells. So uh, we did a direct intramyocardial injection. Uh, I wanted to emphasize that we used a very low number of the cells. Uh, uh, we did uh, three uh, intramyocardial, three sites of injection. Each site is only one times 10 to five of the uh, myocytes. Uh, the one week or four weeks later, we did uh, the nociferous uh, um, activity. I want to thank uh, Dr. Chiu for that uh, to send us the nociferous uh, construct. So at the one week time points, uh, there's no much difference between the uh, uh, Y type and the cyclin D2 cells in terms of the nociferous activity in vivo. And uh, four weeks later, you can see that uh, the, um, there's a difference. The y, uh, y type cells has less uh, uh, nociferous activity while 
second G2 cells has uh, much higher of the uh, nucleophilic activity. And then we want to really quantify, like at least semi-quantify what, uh, how many cells uh, uh, are there in these uh, animals. So what we have done is that we used the uh, histology staining. We did uh, um, uh, uh, using the human CTNT to label the uh, myocytes, and also we used the uh, human an nuclear antigen. And also we used two different uh, uh, stainings, the uh, HRP-based uh, uh, bright field, so that you don't see the olefluorescence if there is any. And uh, you can see that there was a huge graft in the one month later in the uh, component white up cells in the uh, injured animals. This is the border zone of the uh, myocardial infarction. And then we quantified the number of the uh, cells. We estimated the number of the cells uh, in uh, the one week and the one month of the uh, of the uh, of the um, um, surviving animals. Uh, you can see that uh, the one week of time points there's no much difference in terms of the uh, grafted cells. And uh, at one month later, you can see that the white uh, second T2 cells seems to have a much more higher number than the white type cells in this MI animals. Uh, here, I want, we wanted to show you that we uh, quantified the uh, uh, number of the myocytes in the grafted area because uh, uh, nociferous activity actually can uh, be detected in the both myocytes and non-myocytes. So, but uh, what we have seen that uh, uh, even that you put the cells into the uh, heart at uh, four weeks later, one month later, uh, the uh, purity is still high. Over 90% uh, of the gravity cells are still the myocytes. And then the next we want to see uh, if the uh, uh, natural grafts is a result of the cell cycle activity uh, by segment D2. So again, we used the, uh, uh, several different markers, for example, the BRD, the C1S phase marker, and the KI67, a broad cell cycle marker, and the, um, uh, the PH3 is a, a, a M phase marker. And all of this uh, histology suggesting that the, uh, at the four weeks of time coins, uh, in half of the heart, the segment T3 cells still displayed a much higher of the cell cycle activity compared to the uh, grafted wild type cells. And uh, then last we asked if this, um, in addition to the cell cycle activity, can segment D2 protect the apoptosis? Uh, our data suggests that this is not the case and uh, uh, Y type cells like and D2 cells display the similar level of the apoptosis in vivo. And then we also checked the heart uh, uh, function uh, of these animals. At the one week time point, there's no much difference. All of the MI animals dis displays a depressed cardiac function. However, four weeks uh, uh, after surgery, you can see that uh, uh, animal received the uh, Y type cell injection has uh, uh, enhanced the uh, cardiac uh, function and uh, this function is further improved in the um, animal in receiving the second T2 cell injection. We also used the fast green, uh, which represent the muscle and serious red, which represent the fibro scar tissue. And one week time points, you can see that uh, uh, all of the MI animals have similar level of the uh, red signal. And, uh, but uh, four weeks time points, and uh, you can see that this uh, MI plus uh, DBS, this is white type cell injection, D2 cell injection, it seems to like see the muscle actually grow in the scar area. And uh, accordingly, we quantified the infarct size, the infarct size is decreased in the animal receiving the D2 cell injection. So uh, what is the long-term fate for these cells? Uh, Dr. Zhang already introduced a little bit, and then here is the, uh, of the, uh, of the bioluminous acid, luciferous acid, um, at one month, two months, three months, uh, six months, we, that's far we only connect the animal for the six months, but we may perfu um, give uh, longer time points. You can see that the message is that the uh, second D2 cells uh, displayed a gradually increased uh, of the luciferous activity. And uh, uh, I don't know if I can say that the white type cells seems like there's a, uh, either they the remain the same level of the nociferous active or there's a slight decrease during this uh, time course. And uh, uh, we see at six months of time points, compared to one month of the time points, you can see that the second D2 cells, it actually has a large graft. This is a, uh, of the histonic staining. And uh, this is a uh, multiple different uh, sections in the same animal, so you can see that uh, um, the graph is rather notch. As a summary, it's that it enhances the cell cycle 
actually can uh, significantly improve the uh, remuscularization potency. Thank you. Thank you, Wolf. We have time for one quick question. 